beautiful winter day today. All right, so today I'm gonna get straight into this video and we're gonna do some carpet stripes. <laughs> you dogs, why would you do that? So I'll show you guys how carpet stripes work, but first we're gonna do the old landscape blading around the edging and then do the edging as well. Cause I'm just loving it, loving it. Before we do a cut, let's see how long this grass is. Hopefully it's grown a bit, because I want it to keep growing over winter. Yeah. It's grown about five mil, it's at 20 mil now. Our hider cut's at 15. Oh, actually, maybe 25, so we've grown quite a bit. Yes. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys now about what um, carpet stripes are. All right, so I'm guessing a lot of you guys don't know what carpet stripes are, so. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, but it's nothing exciting. It's basically just, what you do is you go, you take, do one cut, and then you cut back against that same cut again. So you're basically erasing the stripes. So the reason it's called carpet stripes is, or just a carpet look, is because it makes your lawn look more carpety than striped. So, you know, pretty standard sort of a thingy, yeah. Ideally, yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway, we'll give that, do that in a minute. And I was looking at the ruler actually, and actually half of this lawn is at 30 mil, which I'm keen at. If you look at this little shot us here, some of the blades are up towards 30 mil, um, which is awesome. Means this lawn's still growing. Is losing a bit of color though, so I think I'm gonna give it the special mix probably next week, which is a humic acid, um, fibric acid, um, liquid kelp, and some liquid iron as well. I might even put in some phosphider, phosphider at app soon as well, which has got some um, phosphonic acid, potassium, and some phosphorus, and some amino acids in it as well. So we might do that in the coming days, just to keep this lawn ticking over during winter. I'm also gonna try to water this lawn a little more during winter this year to see if we can keep pushing some growth on it. Cause usually through winter, I just let um, nature take its place and I don't actually water the lawn during winter cause it gets so freezing here. But I think I'm gonna do it this year. I'm gonna water it and see what happens since we've got the ball. Um, I can use the water a little bit more. I'm still being, you know, water wise, and I'm not gonna get crazy with it, like. But yeah, anyway. Let's yeah, move. Carry all that you've got to every heart is not alive. Tell you what, that cut was really annoying. You dogs. Carpet stripes, little turds. Bruh. It doesn't even look like carpet stripes, suckers. No, it does, look, there's no stripes there, look at that. You can see some slightly old ones, maybe, but no. Nah. Yeah, it's just a blank canvas. Oh, the, the lawn looks good. I'm just not a fan of doing that. I mean, I like the look of it. It's just mowing them is the pain in the bum bum. Well, it does mean I did a double cut though in the one hit, which is good. And you actually get quite a clean cut as well when you do it like that. Because what you do is, you lay your stripes one direction, and then you come against the grain basically in the other direction. So it actually cuts more off. Um, so you'll see a lot coming into the catcher when you do your pass back the other way. So it's good for the lawn. It's just a poo bum to actually mow. Because like you have to turn around on the one stripe. It's just, it's just fiddly diddly. 
Anyway, you know what? Let's do the front stripes, but we're not going to do carpet because I'm a dog. Let's see what came second on the poll, eh? Single checkerboard stripes by 1%. Like just. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, there's no way you can see that. Just imagine you can. But yeah, single checkerboard stripes. So checkerboards out the front we're going to do because I don't want to do that again. What a silk. What a silk. Tell you what, this front lawn is looking schmick with those single diamond, no, checkerboard stripes. Bray, it's like no frost burn at the front here. It just looks mintaroo, like it looks so good. Mm. It's not around, is there? <laughs> no, it seriously looks like ridiculous for this time of year. Start of winter, mm, we're about we're three weeks into winter now, so you know. It's looking good, I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. I think doing some regular watering is really gonna help this to help retain some color throughout winter and make it look just delicious. Um, flip man. I get excited every time I mow, don't I? It's just, I love it. I always get surprised by the results when I mow my grass, which is something I should know, but anyway. It looks good. Right, so back out the back again. And I'll tell you what, carpet stripes do look pretty nice. Looks pretty um tidy. Good for the OCD if you don't like wobbly stripes. <laughs> but yeah, no, it does look really, really good. I tell you what, this lawn really is looking schmick for this time of year. Really, really happy with it. I'd love to see how it looks at the end of the season compared to last season. With a couple of different things I'm going to be trying this year. Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys noticed, but there is bits of power um, in the yard, mostly in the shaded areas. Um, I didn't put any pre-emergent down this year, so the power was going to come up. No matter what, basically. It didn't even came up in my gutters, as you guys have seen. <laughs> um, but it will die out in springtime. We're more towards summer here in Orange because we don't get that hot here. Um, and I'm I'm trying to decide what I want to do next season because generally I use autumn as an oversow. But if the no parts die out of, off on this this season, which I don't think they will when summer hits, sorry, um, I think we'll be right to put a pre-emergent down in about March for me here because you start to see winter grass germinate around here, around the end of March. Um, yeah, bruh. Apart from the power, and I did say that's the only weed in here at the moment, the power, because all the nut grass is gone after I did that application about a month ago. Um, that's about all I've gotten here, and then just rye grass for days. Thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. Remember, there's still some merch in stock on the store. Um, still some beanies in there. Looks like we can get some hoodies. So I'm gonna get some hoodies done soon. I'm um, just checking out a couple of different styles and that. They're probably gonna be pretty standard. Just a black hoodie, a little logo just there as well. Oh, but yeah, thanks guys, and I'll see you guys later on. I haven't shown you guys this yet, but um, I've been Practicing some swinging in the backyard with my driver in this spot here and yeah Unco drive smacked into the ground. Look at this though. It's growing back Like that was massive before it was like that big. That was about two weeks ago. So it's growing back. That one's still got Heaps of roots and stuff in it. So it'll be fine. But yeah, sit it boy